Well, here we are. Welcome to the Radar Chronicles. This Sunday is exciting. Sunday morning, the sun's out, and we get a chance to do a little recap on what happened yesterday on the very first day of, uh, of the study. Yeah. So tell me, you know what? How'd that look for you? I mean, what? tell me about day one. What came out of it for you? Let's do that, but let, let's set the background and tell them what oh, we're okay. up to right. and, uh, and what our purpose is and why we're out here and why, why we're doing this. So this is the Radar Chronicles, and what we're going to do every week is we're going to give you an update on a study that we're doing on radar. Now, anecdotally, we know, or we think we know, that radar might be the next big thing in radar instruction or, or, or just teaching, and it might help us a lot, but there have been no formal studies. So as we have been gathering data and working with our students, and we went out to do some research to find out whether or not radar was, in fact, really helpful, we didn't really find any studies being done. So we came up with the idea of doing a formal study. So we've got an eight-week long study, and we are going to determine from the study how well radar helps people improve. Well, now, isn't radar really well accepted right now on tour? I mean, don't you see like 700 tour pros using radar to work oh, with? Uh Totally. There, there's a ton of pros out there using radar, plus a lot of the top teachers are integrating radar into their teaching. My point here is, how do we make radar available to the average golfer? Mm -hmm. And so in fact, that actually is one of the key tenets of the study, is we took a bunch of what we call average golfers, and they're the people that make up yeah. the study. So we have six participants in the radar study, and uh, each one of them, they went through a pretty rigorous process just to get in the study, right? Well, they, plus they made a huge time commitment. Yeah, eight weeks, and we're going to meet for two hours once a week and we're going to go through a whole radar training and the whole thing is structured. We're going to be measuring, capturing all kinds of data. Yeah. Um, but let's talk a little bit uh, before we get more into the, the radar study itself. Let's talk a little bit more about the radars themselves right. and right. what we're getting and why this has come about. Now you've been working with, with Flightscope for what, seven, eight years? Yeah, long time. And so, so you know their history, you know the whole system and you know the guy who founded it. Tell us a little bit about Flightscope, because that's the radar system we're using, the Flightscope radar. Tell us about Flightscope, how it came about, and what it does. Okay, well, radar actually is what makes all this possible. Right. Because for the first time, it's bringing all of the technology indoors, outdoors. And with a simple setup, of course, it's nice to have the big screens like we have back here, but with a yeah. simple setup, you can have all of the technology that used to take uh, hundreds of thousands of dollars to accumulate indoors and move it outdoors, which has this huge advantage in that not only do you see the results measured, but you also see the ball flight. Yeah. And that's been always the, the, the impediment between fitting indoors and outdoors is right. good players always want to go see the ball fly. Right. So then the other thing about radar that's really important that's very, very different from all other launch monitors is radar looks at the player and the golf club in motion instead of just the golf ball. Right. So instead of trying to look at that ball out there 200 yards and figure out what caused the problem, you know, we can actually look at the club itself. And the one thing that's absolutely unique about Flightscope Radar is they give you a graph that tells you if your golf club fits. That's it's a awesome. beautiful thing. It's the most amazing thing I've ever seen on... That's uh, the acceleration curve. Acceleration curve. We'll, we'll talk more about that as we go, as, as we collect a little I'd bit say, more data. Yeah, let's hope these guys stay tuned for that one, because that's going to be a good story. I, and you're like the world expert on that, so right. I'm looking forward to I having you share so. that. You know, after watching it and verifying it for so many years, I just think it's like the magic of club fitting. So tell us a little bit more about the background of radar. Now, sure. you've known Henry Johnson for years. Where did he come from? Sure. How Henry, did he do this? Henry Johnson and Flight Scope. Henry Johnson basically invented the category of portable radar. It's awesome. Uh, his company is called EDH, Electronic Data, Data House, and it's in South Africa. And they've really been out there since to the late 90s, mm -hmm. uh, trying to prove the concept. And so they've been through an extreme development process that's that's really been amazing to see. And, um, and, and Henry know. came out of the military, is that where no, this came no, from? No, he's a scientist. <laughs> you know, Henry's okay. a scientist. I think there isn't anybody in the business that doesn't think Henry's got the biggest brain in the business. You wow, know? okay. But um, yeah, so he, uh, you know, he, he's been, and this has been his labor of love forever and ever. and, and uh, he got it right. He finally got it right. And uh, I think that what he's doing right now is amazing. Yeah, it's fantastic. So one of the things that, that we've noticed as we've worked, you know, unofficially with some of our students is because of the precision of the feedback from radar, our students are getting better, faster, an order of magnitude but faster. I mean, 
it's unbelievable to me how when they get the feedback from the radar, they start to do what we call self-adjustment yeah. in, a, in a way that's so much faster, so much better than, than if we were just giving them you know, straight lessons or traditional teaching. And so, so what have you seen too in terms of the feedback that you get from the well, players? Well, it's pretty clear that what happens is if a player is trying to make a significant change to his swing path, for example, right. um, you know, he might have been doing that for 30 or 40 years one way, you know, and to try to make that change to something else is going to be pretty extreme. Right. But what radar does and the instant feedback, swing by swing, lets the player experiment and inevitably what they say is they'll try something they would never otherwise try and they you know and everybody that's benefited from it that i've seen has been able to say wow that's what it feels like yeah and, and it's way different from what they thought always it's so different that they never would have tried it so we we did a, a demo day about a week ago where we had people try out the radar system and probably what, 90 percent of the people who came through had an outside in swing which is one of the contributors to a, a slice or a fade right right an outside in swing with an open club face and of course we all ideally would love to hit the high draw but that requires an inside out club path with a slightly closed face closed to path so what we saw then was we were able to get people to switch from an outside in path to an inside out path but if we had just looked at the results, we would never have known that even some of right. the shots that went right, right were actually still outside in. Right. That's one of the things that experts can get hung up on. They can know too much for their own good. Right. You know, and, and that's exactly what would happen. I mean, we see, we're seeing those balls go to the right, and the, uh, and the radar is telling us, wait a second, that's exactly what you were trying to do. You just left the face open too much. And exactly. you never would have seen it, you know, and we would have backed off from that. And so it lets you make a change that you otherwise would never ever make. Yeah. So this is really super exciting. The, the study that we're having, that we're going to be doing, is going to measure some really specific data. So, so give us an idea now of the specific kinds of data that the radar is going to be measuring. We get swing path. We know we get that. Well, yeah. You get all the stuff that you get with every launch monitor, mm -hmm. which is ballistics. But then we get swing path. Right. Face angle face of angle. impact mm -hmm. and angle of attack. Those right. are the three things, the three angles that we're going to be watching. And, you know, sometimes players think that's too much complexity, but uh, we haven't found anybody that couldn't comprehend what was going on with that. When no. we say inside out, yeah, they, they are able to get it, yeah, yeah we're, or maybe even with just a, a little bit of explanation. They get it fairly well, that's quickly. That's what we have you here for. <laughs> <laughs> it makes a teacher's job a lot easier, which is really good, because we can actually see it, show them what a picture looks like right. on the screen right. immediately, right after they've hit a shot, and their comprehension level right. goes up. Right. Well, much more so than they would say if we just had a video camera, because with video camera, they're looking at motion. And I think this is one of the key differentiators with uh, radar. With video, which is, you know, which at the moment is pretty much state-of-the-art from a teaching standpoint. Maybe mm -hmm. we could do motion capture, but video is pretty much state-of-the-art. What we're trying to do with video is change motion in order to have an impact, in order to change impact. Yeah. But with radar, we go straight to impact. Yeah, that might be like looking at the golf ball wondering what caused it, <laughs> what caused <laughs> it to fly that way. That's right, yeah. immediate feedback. Immediate feedback on the thing that matters most. That's why we call uh, the moment, that's why we call impact the moment of truth. That's all that really matters. The golf ball doesn't care what your swing looks like. It only cares about physics. So we measure the physics directly, yeah. and then we change the direction, that we, we change the physics directly. And so what we've seen is we change impact first, and then what happens is motion changes because yeah. we're changing impact. Yeah, it's, a, it's sort of like a different way to do it, but it's going directly to what we want to do adjust. Well, you hook up what you want to do with your feel. Right. So you get that done. That's so. the other thing that we noticed, isn't it? Guys con constantly saying, oh my gosh, I still, I'm, I, I'm going outside in, I'm trying to change inside out, and I still didn't do it enough? Still not enough. They always think they're over the top and they're not even close. And they haven't even come close yeah. yet. Yeah. So that's the beauty because the radar feedback is unequivocal. I mean, we can see it, we can measure it, and we yeah. can give it to them. And so the, the thing when you're working with, like for me, when I'm working with the students, is students might resist because it's so different. Yeah. But with radar, when they see it, they go, oh, that was really different. And it's still not enough? I gotta do more? Okay, I'll do more. What happens? And that's the beauty of it, right? And then they get that and say, well, and then after you do it a few times, then it's not so strange anymore. Right. You know, and then you can repeat. That's the other thing, is players who come back the next week brought their inside out swing back with them. Right. I mean, that was surprising. Right. So we've got two components here, ultimately, that we're going to be looking at. So, so one is the, thing, the whole idea of, well, let's change the impacts and, and motion will change. But then there's the training aspect. So yeah. we have teaching, which is swing, you know, changing the swing. But then we have training, which is once we get you where we want, now we train you so you can repeat. Mm -hmm. And isn't that what everyone wants? 
That's it. Well, the idea is if there's a perfect shot and you know exactly what to do to make that, well, why don't you practice that? Let's do that. <laughs> right. So, so that's kind of the essence of consistency. I, I mean, virtually everybody, every golfer just wants to be more consistent. So we can actually define that and we can measure it and then we can train you to get closer and closer to those specifications and you get there faster. Yeah. It removes all doubt. I think it's an amazing thing. Tell you what, we got a customer here. Let's go to work on him. Let's go see what we can do with him. But this is uh, day one, our first update of the Radar Chronicles. We're going to be doing these every week because our study meets uh, every Saturday. So after each one of those, we'll give you a recap. We'll give you some idea of what we've learned and what we've observed. We finished day one already, and day one was an uh, orientation, get, to get, get together. And then we also had to collect data. So basically, everybody spent an hour just hitting golf balls, primarily with drivers right now. And what we're doing is we're having him th hit three sets of 10 balls at a time. So three 10 ball sets and then we collect the data so we're going to be comparing in 10 ball sets. And it takes a while to collect the baseline data. So next week we're going to be collecting more baseline data and we're going to figure out how fast people you know, hit golf balls and how, what, we, what it takes to yep. get the baseline data so that we can then move forward. Yep. But that's the basis for any analysis is let's get the baseline data first and then we'll figure out where we need to go. And then you and I need to sit down in between those and prioritize for each and every individual person. And the beauty of this is uh, Radar lets us customize a training program just for them based yep. on the things that are most important for them to improve. Yep. Great. Well, let's get started. I'm looking forward to it. Go get him. Day one, here we go. Go get him. Go give him a hug. Welcome to the Radar Chronicles. We'll look forward to seeing you. <laughs> we'll look forward to seeing you every week.